This is a book that I actually uh, used uh, for a course in college on stochastic processes, a graduate level course a long time ago. And um, it's by Ross, and it's a pretty good book. I remember doing um, you know, some homework assignments from this book, um, having to read certain things uh, from the book. 1983, I think it's a good book. Uh, I, I think it's a nice gentle introduction perhaps compared to other books. Um, I enjoyed it. This text is a non-measure theoretic introduction to stochastic processes. That, that's pretty key there. Uh, and as such, assumes a knowledge of calculus and elementary probability. In it, we attempt to present some of the theory of stochastic processes to indicate its diverse range of applications and also to give the students some probabilistic intuition and insight in thinking about problems. We have attempted, wherever possible, to view processes from a probabilistic instead of an analytic point of view. This attempt, for instance, has led us to study most processes from a sample path point of view. And he thanks uh, some people there for their comments. Uh, the legendary Sheldon Ross. And then here you can see um, the topics. The Poisson process. And there are some answers uh, in, in the back of the book. Markov chains, continuous time Markov chains, Brownian motion and other Markov processes. Random walks and Martin Gills. Now, I remember we didn't cover, um, definitely didn't cover the whole book. Answers and solutions to selected problems. Let's jump there. So 285. 285. Now, obviously, when I learned this stuff, I had a teacher, too, so that makes, uh, that makes a big difference. You can see here there are some answers in the back. And um, Ross does take his time and go through and, you know, show a lot of the stuff, right? Because, yeah, that's very helpful. And here's how it starts. So you can see you know, the difficulty level from the beginning. A basic notion in probability theory is random experiment, an experiment whose outcome cannot be determined in advance. The set of all possible outcomes of an experiment is called the sample space of that experiment, and we denote it by S. This is an event is a subset of a sample space, and it goes through, it gives you these, these axioms. So this is stuff that's, you know, it's basic. And you go through and do some proofs. Some examples. There's another little subsection there. Another subsection now. Characteristic functions in Laplace transforms. Conditional expectation. All right, you keep going. Keep going. Let's keep going here. Let's finish the chapter so you can see. And here's some problems, right? So 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Uh, looks like there's 18, 22 problems, and then some references. Okay, so 22 problems and some references. So 22 problems. Let's see how many answers we get in the back of the book. I mean, it's not perfect, but... So you've got five, A, B, C. We'll say 22 problems. And then six, 12, 13, 22. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, it looks like a lot, but that's because they're showing a lot of work for these problems, right? These problems can be long. So, um, yeah, we better if you had more answers, but that's what you get, right? Yeah, stochastic process. It's a good size. The book is a good size. I'm going to smell it here, give it a whiff. It's a good size. Um, it's a nice cover. It's well made. Yeah, I like this book. It's uh, not super, super affordable. It's a little bit on the pricier side. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, in case you want to check it out. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.